Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous session, we have successfully completed adding the category along with the user. So we have seen it. So we are able to, if I try to show you the category details, we are able to show the username that who has added this category details. Fine. So everything is working fine. Now it's time for us to do the same thing for the add product and also for the showing the product details also. Why? Because the user is also associated with the product so we need to while adding the product we need to add the user also when we are adding the product so let's try to do it if you go into this one if you go to our controller so this is our admin product controller so whenever we are adding a product first we are trying to add a product right so get oh not this one so we are having get add product page so here we there is no need for us to show this uh, username and all those things why because we will be adding it from the back end itself so there is no need for that uh, for that one so whoever is logged in the user so for that user only uh, that user id only will be adding in the product so there is no need for us we already have the user details with us post add so this is the place where we can add the user so here we are having all the product details and here first we are trying to find whether the category existing or not the user when he is trying to add it so when the category is existing so then we are checking these all the things and here instead of creating the product so we need to create the product for the user so here i can write request dot user dot create product i can use it like this that's it now the product will be created with an associated of user id and then afterwards we are carrying we are setting the category for that one <coughs> now we can also use the vice versa vice versa also so that is not issue so now already we have product created right so that is the reason we are using the set category or otherwise if you have the category and you want to create the product means so we need to use the vice versa that's a different thing so i don't want to use that one so now we have added the product with the user id let's try to see and here i am adding some sample price and here also i am selecting category i am clicking on the i have clicked on the add product now we are able to add the product details now we need to show the user details also here so where can we show here this is the home page let's go to the home page here home controller and in this home page somewhere uh, we will having res dot render these all the things we are having right res dot render product list in the product list we are showing and the products and this one already includes a category so here we can also include <coughs> another one so there is nothing but so we need to provide this one in an array and here we need to write object so here the model is equal to category the first one and the another one is another object model is equal to user so we need to add the user also so that's it so now we let's try to import this user actually we need to import the user where is this user so user is not coming or what here i can write user and here this should be user model so user model so user model that's it so now we have i want to get all the products uh, i want to get all the products with the category including with the category and including with the user now we are getting the products details now if i go to this products list and if i go to the product list and if i open this product list and here below the category i can show the username who has added this product category dot user dot name so user dot name now if i see the output let's see see here we are able to successfully show the username so like this we are able to show the username now if i try to see home is working add product is adding the user adding the product details with the user so here if i add it so you another product is created and if you try to see in the table so this is not the category so we should see the products products details and the products details are this one so here i am having the product details and category id 1 and the user id 1 is automatically uh, the association is automatically created and with that association we are including those all the category and the user and we are getting the product details and if you go to the admin yeah admin it will not work why because from the admin also so here we will be having the uh, maybe i think product control i think so get add product page post add product page get admin product page Get admin product space yeah here here also you can add something like uh, include model category then this could be this should be an array 
and here also i need to add another one and this is one model and another model is so this this also should be an object model of user so this is model of user that's it so let's import this user also i think the user is not imported i think yeah so now we got the we got the model category and model user hope this one will work i think let's see the output here if i try to refresh this page now we got the username details also if i try to click on edit and all those things also it will work not a problem if i'm trying to clicking on the edit and all those things so there is no need for us to pass the username and update the username and all those things so there is no need why because already we have the user id with us so we are updating that one so there is no need for us to update delete also it's work. this works in the same way so this is how we will be adding the association from one to so to the different uh tables so now we are having category products and the user the user has many products and user has many categories also now we need to go, go to the another one then another important one that is nothing but the cart page so now we had to design the cart page so when we are designing the cart page now we need to create a table for this cart page and we need to create the association with the user whoever the user is having he has only one cart so that means user has only one cart and the cart can have many cart items so that is the main thing right cart can have many products or many cart items so that is the relation we need to have we will see about the um, what is this what is, what is this one so uh, one many to many relationship why because cart item can have many products and a product can belongs to many cart items so that is the relation between we, uh, what we need to decide it so let's try to see it in the next video hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you